Okay, so now that I've entered in some data in L1 and L2, um, your, ca your calculator will actually analyze the data for you and do some, some interesting things. For example, um, I can go to stat and calculate. And one cool thing is we have one variable and two variable stats. Um, they're essentially the same. One variable stats will focus on the statistics like mean, median, and mode, um, quartiles, and, and stuff like that and uh, for one variable, and two variable, we'll do two variables at once. So let's do the one variable stats first. So if I enter in one variable stats, um, by default, it'll choose L1, but again, like I said, if I hit second and then choose any one of these, like L4 or L5 or whatever, um, it will do the uh, statistics for that list, list number four or list number five or whatever. But I'm gonna leave it at uh, this. Now sometimes you can have a multiple uh, frequency, so in statistics um, we may be collecting data on the number of televisions uh, in a household, so there may be three houses that have six televisions, and so we would enter that in a little bit differently, so we'd have a list for the frequency. Um, I don't have one for this particular scenario, so I'm going to leave it blank, and now I'm just going to hit create. And so what it does is it takes that list, uh, which was one, two, three, four, five, and it tells me some things. It tells me that the average is three, all right? It tells me that the sum of all the values of x is 15. It also tells me that the x squared summation is 55. It tells me that the sample um, standard deviation is 1.58 and that the population standard deviation is 1.4. Now remember, that this is an issue of degrees of freedom. This is calculated a little bit differently than this one. That's why the numbers are different. It tells me that I had a total of five numbers uh, in my data set. It tells me that the minimum X value was one. It tells me that the first quartile or the 25th percentile uh, value is 1.5. It tells me that the middle number, the median, is 3. It tells me that the 75th percentile or the uh, third quartile value is 4.5 and that the maximum x value is 5. Now, if I hit stat and I go to calculate and I do the same thing with two variables, um, same thing, I have L1, L2, so it's going to do this for the x and for the y. If I had a frequency list, I would plug that in here, but I don't. So I'm just going to hit enter. So notice that all of the x values um, are pretty much calculated like they were before. And then it does the same for the y value. So the y value average is 11. The sum of y is uh, 55. Um, the sum of y squared is 999. The standard deviation for the sample is 9.6. The standard deviation for the population is 8.64. Again. Uh, without going into statistics too much. They're, the way that we calculate these are a little different. I think if I remember correctly, it has to do with degrees of freedom. And then here's the interesting thing. This is, this is valuable for calculating regressions and things of that nature. So the sum of the product of XY is 225. Then we have our X min, our X max, our Y min, our Y max um, placed there because those, uh, when we go to do regressions and stuff, those values are important to us. And that's how you do a uh, single and uh, single variable stats and then two variable statistics. Okay? Thanks.